here with uh, Bob Red. I'm going to mess his name up. Bob Rasmussen. Rasmussen. <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, he is going to explain to you a little bit about IntelliBed. But at first, I want to tell you um, a little bit about my journey to better sleep. Um, as you guys know, I'm the mom of four boys, and I'm a big DIYer, which is a do-it-yourselfer. So I do a lot of work around my house, and a lot of building, and a lot of activities. And so um, I am busy, like many of you guys, and I need a good night's sleep. Every single one of us needs sleep, and we need a good night's sleep. So um, I've been wanting a new mattress for a very long time, but I was confused on, uh, my husband and I were confused on really what, best mattress for us was. Um, I have scoliosis in my back so I deal with back pain and I usually um, have kind of a restless sleep. I, I wake up in the middle of the night sort of in a little bit of pain and have to kind of adjust myself so I can sleep better um, because my back's hurting me. So I have a blog friend that started talking to me in our private Facebook group about IntelliBed. I don't know about you all but I had never heard about IntelliBed but she ranted and raved about how this bed had changed her life and how much better she was sleeping and how awesome it was, which really got me intrigued and uh, a little bit jealous, to be honest, because I would love to have a good night's sleep. So um, I, con I was talking to Rob and um, now own an IntelliBed, and I'm very excited about it. Um, money is an issue with many of us. And one of the things that I like about IntelliBed is that it has um, the lowest cost of ownership as far as mattresses are concerned. And um, that is because they last so long. I think it's like uh, a 30-year, what is it, Rob, uh, Bob? Yeah, it's 30-year. We've got 30-year warranty on these beds. Right, 30-year warranty. So um, if I have a 30-year warranty on this bed, that means that I could be sleeping in this bed through my 70s, right? That's, <laughs> I don't that's want to get hope. my... I don't want to give my age away, but no, yes, yes, my husband and I should be sleeping in this bed um, 70. So I have not heard of another mattress that has that kind of guarantee in it, which is really awesome. Um, so I do recommend IntelliBed, and the improvements that I have seen since I've had it is in my sleep. I'm able to sleep more soundly and comfortably. I will wake up in the morning and um, not feel restless. Like through the night, I've been able to sleep really good and not toss and turn and so it has been a really good thing for me so I love when I find a good deal and a good product and I wanted to share and tell a bit with my readers so Bob is going to share with you all he knows about this wonderful product well thank you so much Tracy and uh, I'm welcome. very I'm very very pleased to, to be with you today um, we're going to talk not just about uh, mattresses today, but we're also going to talk about sleep and some other issues. And uh, just wanted to give you an idea that um, I do have a fairly significant amount of background in high-tech cushioning and uh, mattresses. My back background is in engineering and so forth. And, uh, and we've really taken a, a look at the whole mattress industry from a, um, an engineering standpoint, really. And I, I hope that will come through to your listeners and your readers as we go through this webinar. Yes. So, so let me just start with uh, what we mean by sleep wellness. We all know that sleep is essential to wellness. In fact, without it, we die. It is the third leg of the wellness triangle. If we're trying to stay well, we all know the importance of exercising. We all know the importance of eating well. Sleep is a bit of a mystery, though. And the, the, the situation in our country is that sleep problems are currently at epidemic levels. Among many of the uh, doctors, it's the number one health concern, and the sleep problems seem to be getting worse, not better. Poor sleep is at ep epidemic levels in America. Studies show that a lack of stage three and four sleep contributes to many of the disease states that we suffer from, including fibromyalgia, diabetes, heart disease, stroke, obesity, and many of the autoimmune diseases. Um, it hinders healing and impedes our immune system. There are over 70 million of us that suffer from sleep-related pain, and last week I read a report that says that back pain is the number one cause of disability in the world. And we, we think that uh, a, a leading cause of back pain, as we'll see later on in the slides, 
is the poor mattresses that we're sleeping on. And and I know a lot of your followers there are thinking, well, I paid a lot of money for my mattress. We're going to find out the reason why even if you pay a lot of money for a mattress, it still uh, is likely that it's not going to support you correctly after just a few years. And, of right. course, modern, modern medicine's method of dealing with poor sleep, if you go to your doctor and tell him you're not sleeping well, what's he going to do? He's going to write you a prescription for a sleeping aid. So um, right. we decided to take a very uh, unique approach to the whole problem. And when back 15 years or so years ago when we started this, uh, one of the first things that we did is we, we got hooked up with a number of experts in the field. And Dr. Robert Kroll is one of those experts. Um, don't want to go through all of his credentials, but he was trained at Stanford where he worked with Christian Bernard and William DeMent. They are considered to be the fathers of modern sleep re research. They're the ones that actually um, identified the stages of sleep and they conducted a number of, uh, of uh, research studies in sleep. Dr. Troll currently practices in Las Vegas and we are uh, in contact with him regularly. Um, he's done some studies for us that we'll talk about here in a minute, but uh, through these uh, individuals we have identified what the stages of sleep are and it's important for us to understand this and specifically what happens in at least uh, stages three and four of sleep. There's not a lot known about what actually happens and, and, the, and the beneficial use of some of these stages of sleep we know that uh, rapid eye movement is where we dream, and that can occur really in any of the four non-REM stages of sleep. Stage one and stage two is uh, light sleep. Not it seems to be a transitionary stage of sleep, but uh, it's three and four that we're really interested in. According to WebMD, it says that during the deep stages of non-REM sleep, that's stages three and four, the delta delta stage. The body repairs and regenerates tissue, builds bone and muscle, and appears to strengthen the immune system. So when it comes to sleep cycles, it takes about 90 minutes for us to complete one sleep cycle, and we go through three to five sleep cycles at night. And it's this beneficial delta sleep that occurs at the bottom of the sleep cycle. If you're in stage one or two of sleep, you can easily be interrupted from your delta, delta sleep. So what tends to happen is that you never get down into those stages three and four of sleep if you're continuously interrupted and there's a lot of things that can cause interruptions to these sleep cycles but it's important to know that uh, stage three and four of sleep is the most important this is what Dr. Troll says about the role of a mattress he says uh, the mattress where the body resides can have a profound impact on the quality of sleep and the musculoskeletal system when pain exists or when the bed is uncomfortable, there are many changes that occur. Delayed sleep onset or insomnia, more superficial non-REM sleep, reduced delta sleep and less REM sleep, increased arousals with sleep fragmentation and overall lowered sleep efficiency. These sleep changes from normal result in excessive daytime sleepiness, decreased cognitive functions and reduced state of well-being. We've all felt this before when we haven't got a good night's sleep, right? Yes, definitely. So, so, um, but what he is teaching us here is that the role that the, the mattress is, and, and what we've learned is the mattress is the single most important apparatus that we have that will uh, determine the quality of the amount of sleep that we get. And so, the big question is: Are today's mattresses, the modern mattresses, part of the problem or part of the solution? And what we found is that the modern mattress is incapable of providing needed long-term back support and pressure relief. So we believe that they're part mm -hmm. of the problem, not part of the solution. Mm -hmm. So let me just let me just if you think about pillars, pillars will hold up a bridge, for example. If you knock those pillars out, then the bridge collapses. And uh, so the pillars of healthy sleep you need to pay attention to. We think uh, there there are four of them, which we're going to cover quickly. Uh, the first one we think is the most important, and that's alignment support or back support. And really, um, Tracy, what we mean by this is that the lower torso where our hips are, that's the heaviest part of our body, right? And so when we lie down, when we lie down, gravity actually is trying to pull that area further into the mattress. Mm -hmm. So it's trying to pull us into a hammock shape, right? Yes. And uh, if the mattress allows that to happen, then 
that is one of the leading causes of lower back joint instability and sleeping mm -hmm. years and years in that mm -hmm. position uh, is, is one of the leading causes of back pain. Mm -hmm. So the, the second pillar of healthy sleep is pressure relief. You need good back support and you need pressure relief. These things are not exclusive. You need both of them. Uh, because what happens is if you have excessive pressure on your hips and shoulders, then that causes you to toss and turn. Remember we said mm -hmm. that, that it takes 90 minutes to get through a sleep, a sleep cycle, right? Mm -hmm. So if, 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 if you have excessive pressure, what happens is it cuts off the blood supply to your tissue. All your capillaries close and uh, you, get a, you get a bed sore. That's what causes bed sore. The tissue actually dies because there's no nutrients brought to the tissue and it, and it happens relatively quickly. So what happens is your body says, you need to turn over, you need to move, or you're going to get a bed sore. So right. it interrupts the sleep cycle, right? right. And so you're, you're not completing your sleep cycles like you should. And you may even feel like you got a halfway decent night's rest. But most of your sleep was this superficial um, stages one and two of sleep rather than stages three and four. Mm -hmm. And so again, that, uh, that, that contributes to the wellness issue that we talked about earlier. The peak pressures occur on the hips and shoulders because they're the most protruding parts of our body. Mm -hmm. The third pillar of healthy sleep kind of goes without saying, but it's something that we fail not to think much about, uh, and that's the materials shouldn't off-gas harmful materials. And there's a lot of concern about uh, some of the materials that, um, particularly memory foam, for, for example, off-gas, and so it's very difficult to quantify these problems, but it's a, pose, it, it, it's a, a risk we need to be well aware of and think about. We need to sleep on safe materials. And the fourth pillar is that the materials need to last. If you buy a bed that two years later, it's lost all of its support and comfort characteristics, then you're doing yourself a lot more harm than you think you are. Mm -hmm. And what we've learned is a premature breakdown in mattresses is extremely common. And the fact that we have a 20-year warranty makes us think the mattress should last that long, and yet our testing shows that very few of the foam-based mattresses that are out there can, can provide proper support for any longer than a year or two. Right. The, mat the mattress industry recommends that we replace our mattress every eight years. So there's this incongruity between what the warranties say, what the industry is saying, and what reality is. And the problem right. is, is it's so difficult to get any kind of practical information about, um, about how these materials perform and last. You're not going to get it at your retail store. Um, manufacturers don't publish this information for obvious reasons. They want you to buy more and more mattresses. So it's a, it's a continual frustration, especially if you have sleeping problems. Because what you tend to think is, all right, I bought the last bed I bought, well, I bought for $1,000, and it, it worked okay for a little while and then you know I'm starting to wake up with all this pain and so forth and so you think well I'll go get a two thousand dollar mattress this time you can spend right. four, four, five, six thousand dollars on mattresses these days and, and, and what you would think is that the more expensive mattress you buy the, the, the better quality of sleep you're going to get and I'm telling you that there is no correlation that exists between that and, mm -hmm. and, and, and let, me, let me tell you the reasons why I'll teach you the reasons why as we go through the anatomy of the modern mattress so Essentially, there are two, two um, components of the modern mattress. We have a support layer or the core of the mattress, and then we have cushioning layers on top of that. So commonly in the support layer, you'll see inner springs. Um, that's, that's by far the most common. But mm -hmm. all urethane foam, latex foam, there's a real popular air bed right now. Back in the 60s, water beds were real popular. Mm -hmm. Those, those are the various materials that are and have been used for the support layer of the mattress. Mm -hmm. And then the cushioning layers of the mattress uh, primarily consist of polyurethane foam. Memory foam is really popular. There's new gelled memory foam and uh, latex foam. So see, these, these are some of the primary and secondary cushioning layer, la layers that are available. And there are four classes of mattresses that you can choose from right now. There's thousands of different manufacturers out there, but essentially they use one of four um, four uh, classes and we, we classify these by their the, the cores that they use. So inner springs are still probably the most popular although there are a lot of foam core mattresses that have become very very popular uh, recently. 
but uh, manufacturers like Serta, Sealy, Simmons, a host of others, 75% of all mattresses sold are inner spring based, either support mm -hmm. coils or pocket coils. And then uh, the foam core mattresses, like I said, Tempur-Pedic has uh, made these wildly popular, but uh, there is a brand called iComfort. Most of the latex, mat latex mattresses are foam core mattresses. And then Sleep Numbers, by far the most popular air core mattress. And then we're, Tracy, we're introducing a new uh, line of mattresses that we call Sleep Wellness. These are more medical grade mattresses that are designed to support and cushion you better. But let's Let's just take a quick look at the construction of these beds because I really think it will help your readers understand uh, which of these beds is going to work best for them and, uh, and, and, um, and understand the reason why this new, class, this, this, this new um, wellness class of mattresses is so significant. Okay. So the typical inner spring mattress, uh, pillow top mattress looks something like this. So you have an inner spring that's on the bottom and then you have various types of foams that are piled on top. Um, so synthetic um, polyurethane foam, gelled memory foam, even latex foam. So there, again, there are thousands of different kind of buildups up there. And one of the challenges you have when you're evaluating these mattresses is you don't know the, the quality of the materials that are being put in there. You can't zip it open and see what's inside. So it's very difficult to grade and rate and, and really understand how well these mattresses are going to perform for you over time. Mm -hmm. The second class, this foam core class of mattresses, uh, Tempur-Pedic, this is actually, I, I peeled the cover back of a Tempur-Pedic so you can see what it looked like mm -hmm. inside. So this is a thin synthetic polyurethane foam core that's not memory foam at all, it's just plain old polyurethane foam. And generally, all of the models are built up like this. So about the bottom two-thirds of the mattress is this polyurethane foam, and the top third or so is our temper material. Or if it's a latex bed, that would be latex foam or gel memory foam. But this is the basic construction of uh, what these beds look like. Sleep Number uses an air bladder. So you can see the air chamber uh, there underneath uh, the foam pillow top. So... Um, the different models of Tempur-Pedic, they make 10 or, excuse me, of Sleep Number, they make 10 or 15 different models. The only difference from the air bladder down, they're all the same. From the air bladder up, they have different types of foam in their pillow top. So these beds rely on air for support and foam for cushioning. Now this is the, this is the, the key point that I want your uh, readers to understand, Tracy, all of these classes, all of these classes of mattresses rely on synthetic foam for cushioning. So um, if you go out and buy a 12-inch uh, pillow top mattress, for example, at least six inches of that bed is uh, synthetic foam of some sort. Mm -hmm. They have foam up in the cushioning layers, and in the case of Tempur-Pedic and a lot of these popular uh, foam core mattresses, they have foam throughout. They don't have anything other than foam in there. Well, what's wrong with foam? It breaks down with use. And the problem really is that this, we, we tested all these various materials you see on this from polyurethane foam, which is the most popular foam used in mattresses, latex foam, visco memory foam. You can see a degradation curve. Most of the degradation occurs in the first year with these various materials. But here is the real problem, Tracy, because our bodies, the heaviest part of our body is under our hips, and furthermore, we rotate the bed from head to foot every six months like we're supposed to, right? Right, our hips, right. Our, our hips are always still right in the center of the bed. And so what happens is the foam breaks down more in the center of the bed than anywhere else, causing you to dip into this hammock shape. And you remember we talked earlier about uh, how that destabilizes the lower back. Yes. And so that, that is the reason why all these other classes of mattresses are, are, uh, would, would be considered inferior. Um, yes. and, then, and then we talked about this before, the, the problem with off-gassing. It's a much bigger problem than most of us think. And, and uh, it could be that the headaches and some of the nausea and, and, and allergic reactions that, that some of your uh, followers are experiencing is, is because of their, um, their mattresses. And so I listed a couple of websites that you could go out and you could go and check out here if, if you're concerned about that. Um, and then, uh, so so the 
you know, the payoff to all this is that foam is the weak link in today's mattresses. It loses its resiliency with use, which gives you inconsistent support. This, we believe, is the leading cause of back pain. So if any of your people are struggling with back pain out there, one thing that they, what, that they need is they need good back support when they're sleeping. But uh, back support is not the only thing they need. They also need comfort. Comfort if you don't have good pressure relief on your hips and shoulders and you're going to be tossing and turning up uh, at night. So with all these foam-based products, you can literally expect anywhere from three to seven years of life before you have to replace them. So even though these some some of these beds, uh, well, most of the beds out there that you pay over a thousand dollars for, they'll probably come with a twenty-year warranty. But mm -hmm. um, but even though they have that level of warranty because of the inconsistent support that you get, and I'm sure that I'm sure that most of you know what I'm talking about. You're oh, sleeping yeah. on a you're, you're sleeping on a bed right now that probably has a big indentation in the top of it, right? Yeah, our bed that we had before this one, uh, before our Intel bed, had two nice little indentions where my husband slept and where I slept. <laughs> and, and, and you're a little teeny person. Yeah, well, not real teeny, but thank you anyway. <laughs> so, but that, that's the point. I mean, it, it is the foam that is broken down in the top of the mattress that's caused that condition. And when you see that in your mattress, that mattress is incapable of supporting you correctly. And then it's just a matter of time before um, before you're going to have a problem with your back or with your with your sleep. Right. So the point is to build a better better mattress. We needed to find a better cushioning material, and that's what we have done at IntelliBed. I want to introduce you to uh, IntelliGel. IntelliGel is an advanced cushioning material and in our mattresses it replaces almost all the foam. We think IntelliGel is the best invention ever for, cush for cushioning. In hospitals where we found it, we found it being used in hospital beds. It was actually curing bed sores, which mm. is very, very unusual for a static material to be able to cure a stage three or a stage four bed sore, but that is how yeah. pressure relieving this material is. Um, and so in our IntelliBeds, um, most of our models uh, have an inner spring. We show here a support coil inner spring, but we also have a model that has a pocket coil inner spring. Inner springs are the, are the best system out there for, for providing good back support. They prevent the hips from sagging into the bed. And then because we limit the, the, the amount of foam that we use in the bed and replace almost all of it with IntelliGel, you get the best combination of support and comfort with these beds. So let me teach you a little bit more about IntelliGel. It uses the engineering principle of column buckling, which is different than how foam, foam or springs behave. They just compress, and the further you compress a material, the harder it pushes back. And so that's the problem on your hips and shoulders. If you have the material pushing back so hard on your hips and shoulders that it's causing these pressure points, then you're tossing and turning all night. Mm -hmm. But uh, IntelliGel provides up to 80% better pressure relief than any of the foams, including memory foam or uh, latex foam, any of the foams that's out there, because it, it, it adds this um, superior method of providing pressure relief. It's hospital tested to cure bed sores. Another significant advantage of this is instead of losing 20 to 50 percent of its resiliency over the first two years, IntelliGel only loses five percent of its resiliency over the life of the bed. So mm. the point is, the point is, is that you're going to get much more consistent support over the years. So you were mentioning Tracy earlier about uh, sleeping uh, on this bed for the next 30 years. This is the right. reason why it doesn't break down like foam does and so you can expect consistent comfort and support for the life of the bed. I've been sleeping on my IntelliBed for about 12 years now and I can tell wow. you that that bed feels as good as the day that I brought it that, that I brought That's it awesome. home. So the gel is also hypoallergenic and non-toxic. It is 100% non-toxic. It's been tested to, to be used in baby bottle nipples and all kinds of children's toys. Uh, so that's another significant benefit of it. And it's completely recyclable. You can pull a gel later out of a bed in 15 years, grind it up, and, uh, and reuse it. So I mentioned earlier about pressure relief. Let me just, uh, since it's so important, 
we've done significant testing on these various materials to determine which gives the best pressure relief. And uh, on the left-hand side of this photograph, you see uh, this, this computer pad. That pad, it will lie over the surface of the bed, and it'll actually give you a readout of your pressure points across the entire, across your entire body. And it's very common in most of these foam-based products to see these red pressure points on the hips and shoulders. Mm -hmm. Well, those, those excessive pressures are what cause you to lose comfort and to toss and turn all night long. But uh, again, we'll see anywhere from a 50 to 80 percent reduction in peak pressures. And we've pressure mapped thousands of customers over the years, and I can tell you that I've never seen anybody on any of these other beds ever pressure map better than on IntelliGel. Mm. So you get the best of both worlds. You get the best support. You get the best pressure relief. It's by far the lowest cost of ownership, even though it's a bit of an investment up front. You can expect these beds to last 20 to 30 years as opposed to three to seven years. And I'm telling you, if you sleep on one of these mattresses that has more than six inches of foam in it, after two years, you've lost enough resiliency in that bed that you're not being supported correctly, even though you still might be sleeping okay. Mm -hmm. um, your, your hips are starting to sag further and further into the bed, and it's just a matter of time before you're starting to wake up with, with back pain and these, uh, these other problems. And uh, plus, IntelliGel is very uh, safe. Mm -hmm. So um, one, of the, one of the things that we did with Dr. Trolls, we went to him and asked him to conduct a study for us. And um, so he, in his sleep lab, he w actually wires up his patients with all these um, sensors. And he can read the brain waves as they sleep. And so we had him put a, a Tempur-Pedic, a sleep number, and an IntelliBed in there. And for half of a night, he'd have them sleep on one of these beds. The other half, he'd sleep on an IntelliBed. And that they'd, they'd switch it up so that it was um, yeah, as fair a study as they could possibly do. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then and then he did a he, he he recorded the sleep efficiency of of these people that were sleeping on on these various beds. And the bold part there of this quote says, the results revealed that the study subject had the best sleep efficiency using the gel mattress. Mm -hmm. And so uh, the, the point is, is that we are, we are continuing to do research on this. But in, the, in, in the, uh, the, the research that we've done so far, it's looking um, like we're able to scientifically scientifically show that the IntelliBed is providing better sleep efficiency. And I don't, I don't think I define that term. So let me just say that sleep efficiency is the uh, amount of time that you are down in stages three and four of sleep, which is a deep healing s sleep, uh, compared to the rest to the other stages that you're in. So you're getting more of the beneficial sleep with an IntelliBed than you are mm -hmm. with uh, these other mattresses that have been tested. So. Um, we think that that is extremely significant. Mm -hmm. So and let I me just take a second to, and mention. Oh, I was just going to tell you I can attest to that because um, I have a little six-year-old that likes to sneak in our bed at night. And whenever he would come in, it would always wake me up. And since I've had the IntelliBed, I wake up in the morning and he is in the bed with us and I didn't even feel him come in. And so I think that is because I'm in a deeper sleep. Don't you think? <laughs> I absolutely do. I absolutely yeah, do. Yeah. If, yeah. You're not, if you're not feeling things like that, then you're staying down in those deep stages of sleep. Yeah. And, and yeah. Tracy is so beneficial. It, and, and it's funny because a lot of times, it's not funny, it's really, I don't know the proper term to use, but uh, if, we, if we think about, if we think about um, uh, our, our lives, you, you can't quantify, you don't know how much of, uh, of these various stages of sleep that you're getting, but you do know if, right. you're getting, if you're getting sick, you do know if you're, if you're starting to develop more and more back pain, if your hips and shoulders hurt. Um, right. and, and it really translates into quality of life. That's why it's, it's so essential for you to, to think about these things and to, and to really make sleep a priority. And we're really trying to be at the forefront of all the mattress companies out there, really understanding sleep and understanding how to get better and more of the deep quality sleep that you need. Right. So let me just mention, I don't want to spend a lot of time talking about this, because uh, on our website, IntelliBed.com, we, uh, we have a very thorough description of all of these things. But we offer four models 
uh, of mattresses for every kind of sleeper. We have the, we have models for those who don't have uh, who don't have sleep problems, um, but they want to continue to to be supported correctly. Uh, but then we have a model that's specifically for people with back problems. That's our posture perfect, our relief perfect, is for people mm -hmm. who have hip, shoulder, or chronic pain, uh, or like a softer bed. And then we have adjustable beds. We call them decompression mattresses for people with severe pain. So the head and the feet articulate. Our, our mattress models will work with those uh, with um, with those adjustable bases. And more details you can get at intellibed.com or you can call us. We'll be happy to diagnose your sleep problems for you. Uh, we also make a, a very unique pillow. Uh, it's a cervical support pillow. Uh, we haven't talked about your experience with pillow, Tracy. Uh, yeah. Have you given it a try? Yes, I love it, but it keeps disappearing from my bed because I have four little boys that keep stealing it. <laughs> so uh, they think they are the coolest things ever, and they feel so amazing. And honestly, I every night I'm like, "Who took my pillow?" And I have yeah. to go find it. So, yeah, it's a big well, hit in our house. We we've seen the cervical support pillows before that have the humps. They're built as though they were all the same shape. But you can see this air chamber here, and there is a cover that comes with the pillow. It doesn't look like this yes. when you get it, so it's a zippered cover you can take off and wash if you need to. Uh, but this pillow is adjustable, so the cer cervical support for your neck you can you can fit it exactly to your shape. Very unique. They work well for side sleepers. Most of us are side sleepers. It, mm -hmm. it also works well for if you're a back sleeper. And then uh, we have an RV topper. Uh, if your RV is just absolutely miserable to sleep in, you can put one of our toppers on top of it. Mattress right. protectors are very important. These keep dust mites out, bed bugs out, and yeah, it protects yeah. the mattresses from contaminants. It'll keep your mattress looking new. Our, our mini crib mattress is, uh, we're, we're really excited about this product. It yeah. has no, no foam, no vinyl. It's a layer of IntelliGel with an organic cotton cover. All 12 wow. of my grandkids sleep on this and um, yeah. and I highly recommend it. Uh, I, I, I referenced AIDS, uh, not, not AIDS, but SIDS earlier on one of the yes. slides and it's thought that SIDS is caused by off-gassing poisonous gases from the mattresses. Mm. Mm. And, and so this, this doesn't off-gas anything. It's 100% uh, organic and safe. And then we also awesome. have a, a kid's mattress that's really starting to be popular. Uh, it's similar to the mini, so it's got a layer of IntelliGel with an inner spring so they get proper, proper support and comfort. And mm -hmm. we, like to get, we like to get people started out uh, early, uh, making sure kids are especially susceptible to toxins and so forth. So off-gassing right. is a much bigger issue with them than it is with anybody else. And uh, these, these mattresses, are, the, the, these kids' mattresses are completely safe. Well, which IntelliBed mattress is right for you? We are experts at helping you evaluate that. So uh, you can call us, uh, or uh, we can do a, a 10 minute analysis to uh, evaluate your sleep conditions. And um, uh, on the on the landing page, which will go to which, which you will go to when you click on um, there there on Tracy's blog site. Uh, It'll allow you to schedule an appointment and to take a sleep survey where you identify the things that are wrong with you uh, in terms of your sleeping <laughs> and, uh, and, and we'll evaluate that for you. So, well, let's talk about, uh, let's talk about the group buy, okay? Okay. So, uh, we have worked out a deal for, for your followers, Tracy, where we're going to give them a 10% discount. Uh, on their on their entire order. So if they order mattresses, pillows, protectors, uh, doesn't matter what it is. Uh, when you check out on the website, there's a spot where you can. Uh, let me just show you where it's pointed here. This is a shopping cart. It says have a coupon code. You click on there, and mm -hmm. and then you just put beneath my heart in there as the coupon code, and it's going to give you a 10% discount on everything that you order. Awesome. Now. Yeah, we, we don't offer this discount in, in, in any of the stores, including IntelliBed's online store. So the only way you can get this discount is through this coupon code. Uh, we offer a 60-day money-back guarantee so you can buy with confidence. And we think the way we buy mattresses in America is all messed up because 
you think about it, you go down to the mattress store and you lie down on bed for five minutes and you ask the salesperson about it and he says, oh yeah, this is a bed that I sleep on and I recommend this. And you're buying a mattress that you're going to be stuck with for the next five to 15 years, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So we, we think it's much better for you to sleep on the bed for a while. So we offer right. a 60 day money back guarantee. Now this is a true money back guarantee. We're going to give you all your money back including, so when you buy the bed you're going to pay for the shipping. But if it doesn't work for you, we're going to re, re, in, reimburse you for your initial shipping plus pay to get the shipping back. So awesome. it, co it costs you nothing. And I can tell you this, we get very few of these bets back. Right, right. So uh, that is, uh, that's it, Tracy. Um, uh, we just invite your listeners to spend some time on the website. If they have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call uh, at 888-GEL-BEDS uh, with a Z, GEL-BEDS with a Z. Um, and I sincerely appreciate the opportunity to share this time with you. Well, thank you very, very much. That was awesome, and I loved listening to that and learning some more about my awesome bed that I have. So hopefully uh, my readers will enjoy it too and take advantage of that discount. So. That sounds good, and thank you so much for um, joining us on our first webinar. Have a great day.